Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Unpopular Opinion. Bro, Dan, what the fuck, mate? It's been two fucking years, my dude, since the last Unpopular Opinion video. And even then, it was only a part one. What the fuck are you doing? Look, I know, guys, I know. It's been almost two years since I made that Unpopular Opinions video, but I haven't really had much thought or well any unpopular opinions as of lately and I mean I was talking about video games at the time and all of the PS4 games I played are great Xbox is still shit the PS5 looks stupid as hell and so does the Xbox Series X let alone yet another awful name for an Xbox system like man none of these are unpopular opinions by any means pretty much everybody can agree on all this shit but you want to know what people can't agree on? That's right, people's opinions on anime, especially my shitty takes on anime. Let's get this straight though, I ain't no weeb dog. I ain't, I ain't even watched my anime in Japanese yet, that's right, I watch my shit dubbed. The only time I watch sub is like when I have to, like when a new season's out and I don't want to wait for the dub version to come out. I ain't a weeb dog. I'm just a normal dude who enjoys Japanese cartoons from time to time. I know some of y'all have seen every fucking episode of anime under the sun. Those people who've watched all of Naruto, all of Bleach, all of, you know, all of those big ass shows, like all of One Piece, all that shit. There are people like that that have watched every single episode of every single anime under the sun. Y'all are crazy. But I mean, I'm still kind of new to this shit. I've only been watching anime for a few years now, so I've only completed a couple series. I'm not going into huge detail on, or, or going to every single episode or every single season of an anime either, but it's probably just gonna be about a minute or two of my quick thoughts on the series or the season. Quick disclaimer, this is just my personal opinion. This is not a facts, dude. Don't get sweaty about this shit. You can have a different opinion than me. I don't care. Let me know what your opinions are down below in the comments. Don't go off saying, Oh, you said JoJo's was a bad anime. You're dead fucking wrong. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care, dude. We're allowed to have our own opinions. We're humans. It's okay, man. These are just my opinions. Now, let's see what my unpopular opinion is on Japanese cartoons. Oh man, Death Note is the second anime that I've ever watched, right after completing the Dragon Ball series. Fun fact actually, I only watched this because I saw the Death Note Netflix movie and gave it a watch, and I actually enjoyed it a lot. People told me it sucked and that the anime was way better, and I was like, dude, there's no way, that movie was mad good and I was dead wrong. I was dead wrong. The anime was 100 times better than the movie, and I quickly realized why everyone hated the Netflix movie. As for the anime itself, this is one of my favorites. It's so good. It's like a cat and mouse game with some moral themes thrown at you with a lot of mindfuck moments that make you say, holy shit, that was so smart. This anime is, it's honestly a classic and nobody can deny that. But it's only a classic up until the point where L dies. And then they introduce Nier. And then the series ends with Kira dying. Like, what the fuck, man? Can we just have one anime where the bad guy, or even just the show in general, or a movie or something, one show where the bad guy wins? It was so perfect up until then. They should have just had Kira kill L, and then had him, like, rule the world by killing all the criminals or whatever. Would have been such a better ending. But anyways... Yeah, Death Note, super good, up until L dies. Alright y'all, Season 4 has not come out yet, but it's looking really good. I'm also sad it's the last one. But anyways, Season 1 of Attack on Titan is booty, dog. Like, not the good kind of booty either. It is bad. It is so boring. The first few episodes, like where his mom dies and shit like that, it's dope as fuck. It's so good. It's super good intro. But all the shit after that in season one is so boring. I mean, I get it. It sets up for the show. It, it, it shows everybody. It introduces everybody. But man, it is so boring. 
Season 2 and 3 are really fucking good, though. And the, the show really doesn't pick up until Season 2. But yeah, if you haven't watched Attack on Titan, Season 1, the first few episodes are going to be really good. After that, it's going to be really boring. But then once you hit Season 2 and Season 3, you're like, holy shit, this show is really fucking good. Tokyo Ghoul is one of my favorite animes of all time, but this show's got a lot of shit around it. This show is literally a fucking shit show. Let me kind of explain. I guess the original story and the manga are a lot different than the anime, but I ain't no weeb dog, like I said, which means I ain't reading no Japanese comic book. So I just watched the show. Season one was godlike, so good. I liked it so much because there is just so much character growth in Ken Kaneki. Like the dude's a little pussy who can barely even talk to a girl and then at the end of this season he's like some badass dude beating the shit out of some dude who like tortured him. The only scene I had a problem with is this final scene where Ken's beating the shit out of the dude who tortured him. There's like okay so the reason why I don't like this scene. There's music playing during the fight scene. No, oh, okay, that's fine. A lot of anime does that. Dragon Ball Super does that. You know, whatever. But it's music playing with the lyrics too, so you can't even fucking hear what the other characters are saying. Oh, but okay, you're gonna watch this show and subbed, so you don't need to hear, it, right? Well, the fucking credits are on the screen over the fucking subtitles, so you can't even read the shit either. It pisses me off. I'm waiting for an answer. What's 1,000 minus 7? I can keep this up all day. Like, why? Like, okay, if you're going to have a fight scene and music, just take the lyrics out. Just have the music. Have just the, just the lyrics. Or not the lyrics. Have just the song, okay? But if, you're gonna, if you want to have the song and the lyrics, don't have the characters talking, too. Or, if you're gonna have the characters talking, don't have credits when there's subtitles. Makes no sense. Season 2 is pretty good as well. A lot of people hate it because it's not the true follow-up to Season 1 or something like that. I, man, I don't even know. I thought Season 2 was pretty good, though. I thought it was really good. A lot of people don't really like it. I thought it was really good. As for Season 3, aka Re, y'all, just, just don't watch it. It's not good. Like, at all. Like... Ken like blacks out or some shit, loses his mind, joins the like cop people, and then he never really lost his mind, and then he knew what he was doing the whole time, but then he didn't, but then he's saving ghouls, and then he's killing ghouls, and then he's capturing ghouls, and then like, it just, it just doesn't make any sense. It's so confusing. And honestly, they just fucked up the whole series with this one. I guess Re was supposed to be like the real season 2 or, or something like that and they fucked it up and just wanted to catch up to the manga or something. I don't even know man. I don't even know. It's just a shit show. The whole fucking thing around this show is a fucking shit show. Just watch season 1 and 2 and you'll have a really good experience. Oh, okay. That ass. This is one of the worst animes I've ever seen. The first few episodes were pretty good, I guess, you know. But the rest of it, it was just completely awful. Like, especially the last episode, my guys. All right, y'all. You want to know how they beat the bad guy at the end? The bad guy is Satan, their, who is who is their father, right? You want to know how they beat him? Through the power of friendship. Yeah, it was one of the corniest wackiest fucking shows I've ever seen. Don't don't bother with this one guys. Do not bother. All right. This anime is mad good. You like Death Note? Well, it's kind of a similar concept. A brother and his sister just mind fuck everybody. Yet th this anime is just good pretty much because of that. I only really have two issues with it. The first being the biggest issue. The main character is some 18 year old kid who has a crush on his 13 year old sister. Like bruh, she is underage and she is your fucking sister. Man, I don't know if like that's some sort of like Japan culture thing or something, I don't know or not. I, but either way, that shit made me mad uncomfortable. 
there's only a few scenes of it happening so if you can get past those scenes the show is really really good the only other thing is that this show ends on a cliffhanger and season two probably will never come out oh yeah and like the little movie thing was pretty good too but i, I mean i preferred the anime over the movie all right furries now is your time to shine get it because the show is about like actors in a play or something like that come on that's pretty good all right i'm gonna start this one off by saying <coughs> ahem i ain't a furry but i did watch this show this was yet another anime recommended by my discord and this show man i don't know it's just like Demon Slayer. I saw the show winning mad anime polls on Twitter in the beginning of the year. Beating big names like Naruto, Dragon Ball Z, Bleach, whatever else. There is no fucking way that this furry ass show is better than most animes. Yo, this show is hot garbage. I am sorry to crush your dreams, furries, but this show is bad. Maybe it's just not my thing. But to me personally, this show sucked and it was so boring. I didn't really know what I was getting into when I first started watching the show. I mean, if you're a furry, I can understand why you like the show. It's kind of obvious. But you know, I'm not one, so I didn't really care for this show at all. People kept saying it was really good, but in my opinion, it's really not. I mean, I'm sorry, y'all, but this show just ain't it for me, dog. Okay, can somebody tell me why everyone bugged out about this show at the end of 2019, early 2020? What the fuck is so special about this show? Like, I watched it, and it was alright. It was pretty decent. Nothing super special, though. I saw this show on, like, Twitter polls, beating out other shows like Attack on Titan, Bleach, Naruto, shit like that. And I was so confused. Like, can somebody please explain to me how this show is better than Attack on Titan or Death Note? Seriously, let me know in the comments how this show is better than either of those two. Again, similar to Black Clover, though, I feel like this show has potential. Like, season one can be decent, but then later on it gets better. But as for now, I mean, it's simply alright. Okay, I'm not really a romance kind of guy. I'm not really into this kind of stuff. But people on my Discord, shameless plug, go to my Discord, join my Discord, recommend me some animes. But my Discord, people in my Discord recommended me this anime and told me to watch it and said it was quote unquote a feels bad man anime. And it was worth a watch, honestly. And man, like they were so right. Coming from someone who's not really like a romance kind of drama, whatever you want to consider this, and and doesn't watch these kind of shows, this one, Your Lie in April, was actually hella good. It really is a feels bad man anime. Please go give this show a watch if you haven't already. And that's all I got for you guys today. Part two is coming out fairly soon, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and join the Discord to stay updated when that video comes out. Anyways, with all that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful day today.